Hello, it is Jamila McMallow, Mindset Coach for Women Executives and Entrepreneurs. And today I am talking with you about a very um, important topic, and that is when you feel like perhaps you maybe have hired the wrong coach, or maybe that is your fear that you're going to end up hiring the wrong coach. So I'm going to be sharing uh, four uh, tips with you to really help you examine how you can go about making a wise decision when you choose a coach. And also we're going to talk through a little bit if you feel like you've done that in the past, maybe made some mistakes, maybe feel like you've gotten burned. So we're going to talk about all of it and I'm going to try to be succinct. Like I said, I got my notes here. But um, first and foremost, the point that I wanted to touch on is I know that if you've been watching my live streams and broadcasts, you know that I'm really iterating how important transformational experiences are, how important personal development is to you really growing and becoming the best version of yourself in every area of your life. Okay. So, but it's important that when you go into this space, right, especially if you're a newbie, if you've never worked with a coach or whatever, that you have some understanding of what you're getting into, because I would dare say most of us, when we hired our first coach, we didn't know what we were doing or we hadn't talked to anybody before about, okay, what, you know, what's this all about this coaching thing, right? We saw some videos online. Uh, maybe you started following the person for a little bit, whatever. And then we just, you know, jumped feet first into the program. So one of the first things that you want to consider before you decide to work with a coach is of course, uh, who are they, right? you i know that you have been following them you've been reading their content you've been getting a feel for their values how they talk how they um you know express themselves if their philosophies are in line with yours if you feel like they solve a problem that you have you know you feel some sort of connection you're drawn to them in some way okay so that's good because you definitely don't want to go into a coaching situation to where you're getting on a call with someone and you want them to convince you to be in their program okay you need to show up already convinced that this is what you want to do this is who you want to work with but then you just need some questions answered right you just need some logistics some details and then you're ready to of course move forward and you may not know the price right because that's not typically advertised why because prices change okay so most coaches don't put their prices out there because their prices increase and they have multiple or different offers and so the point is, is you might not find out till you get on the call, but the point is, is you should already be convinced that this is someone that you want to work with. So some things, some questions that you do want to ask, some things that you do want to get clear on are, is this a one-on-one -on -one program or is this a group program? Now, what's the difference and why does that matter? Well, one-on-one -on -one means it's just going to be you and that person focused on you and whatever your challenges are. In a group program, it's going to be you and several other people and that coach coaching the people in the group. Now, groups can be tricky because you can have small, intimate groups with a, a great synergy, excuse me, or you can have some group programs where they're so large that you feel like you get lost in the shuffle or you feel like you're just a number or you feel like your needs aren't necessarily being met. Okay. So the first program that I was in, you know, kind of being a newbie, not really fully understanding how these things work, but knowing that I was a new entrepreneur and I needed to get some foundational pieces for my business, right? I needed to know what to do. I highly, highly strongly recommend new entrepreneurs hiring a good business coach to help them get started um, because I've done it both ways. I've had a business in the past where I was piecemealing it together, doing it myself because I didn't even know that there was such a thing as a business coach. And that didn't turn out well. And so definitely hiring someone to help you just build that foundation makes things take off and, and go a lot faster. So if you're watching live, please drop a comment uh, so I know who it is that's out there because I'm on StreamYard, so I can't see your name or anything. But thank you for watching and, and thank you for the love. Now, like I said, with the group program, you might have it might be a small, intimate, or it can be very large. Now, for me, with the first program that I went into, I was watching a lady on YouTube and uh, really felt connected to her, really liked her videos, hopped into one of her um, webinars. And I love webinars, by the way. I love webinars because you can watch them on demand. I'm a person that I'm very unlikely to attend a live masterclass 
a live challenge, I'm not going to be there. Why? Because I have a four-year-old and a two-year-old. And no, I don't have time every day to consistently be somebody for any of that. So I love pre-recorded webinars and masterclasses because I that's how I end up hiring my coaches is I watch their stuff at my leisure. So I watched her webinar. And of course, that put me into an email sequence and the messages start saying, hey, you should book a call. I'm like, OK, well, you know, what's the big deal? And um, and I was already kind of convinced that, hey, you know, because what she did in the webinar was um, she shared enough information to kind of give me some tips, but it wasn't enough to where I felt like, OK, I can do this on my own. I need her. So she was very good, you know, what she did. But the impression that I got was that I was going to get, you know, a lot more personal attention than I did. Her program was very strategic, very laid out. Like, I mean, she had her online stuff. It was really like a class. You just went boom from one unit to the next. So as a newbie, it was perfect. Like boom, boom, boom. And I just, I'm an excellent student. And so I just literally went through, I, I looked at it like I'm in school for eight weeks, you know? And so that's how I did. I consumed it. I applied it, all that. But one of the biggest pieces that they did not teach, which was the big promise of the program was they promised to teach you how to sell. They didn't. But it's OK, because I still got the foundational pieces for my business and I was able to start working with clients because I had a setup. You understand what I'm saying? I had a format. I had all the things that I needed, the pieces. And that piece I got later. But I share that with you to say that that was one thing that I was disappointed with is that I thought that I would actually get FaceTime with the coach whose coaching I fell in love with. But instead, when I got into her program, I ended up working with um, some random mindset coach she was a really nice lady but i didn't know who she was you know from adam whatever i'm thinking she's gonna be i'm thinking that you know i'm gonna be dealing with the coach but no she just showed up once a week on a 90 minute call and then on another day during the week she had a different uh coach in her program that met with us and then of course she showed up in the facebook group and answered questions and things like that but it was so many women in the program that um you know it was just it was just a lot now i'll say this what I love about group programs is I made connections in that program. I met women in that program that I am still connected to today, that I did business with, that I worked with, that I hired as coaches and who were still were friends. So that is one really big thing about being in a group program is that you will be able to meet other women who are on the same journey as you, but who maybe are in a different space or a different area. And you may be able to refer clients to each other or you may become each other's clients or work with each other. So, so it's a it's a great way to just meet other women doing amazing things that you didn't know there was a coach for that. Like I'm going to be homeschooling my co children and I met a lady who was a homeschool coach. And I, at that time when I was in the program, my son, he was still excuse me, he wasn't even two years old. <laughs> so but nonetheless, I'm still connected to her. So that's one of the benefits of being in a group program but they can be structured in a way that they're so large that you don't feel the personal attention from the coach who you actually were sold into do you understand what i'm saying um the person who did her sales calls it wasn't her it was somebody else you know um and that's can be a norm when a person gets a large enough um program or company that that particular coach may not do their own sales calls. Me personally, I find that what happens in that case then is, is whereas you, when you, when, and I'm speaking from this standpoint now as the business owner, when you do your sales yourself and you are building your group program, you've had a conversation with every member. And so therefore, you know that everybody that you're bringing together is on the same wavelength. But when you have different people doing your sales calls, and you're bringing in different people into a group, the container doesn't always, it's not always synergistic. It's, you got people all over the place. You got newbies, you got beginners, whatever. So in that program that I was in, that was the case. You had a lot of women all over the place. And, um, and you know, and I just, of course, followed the, the structure and I did get something out of it. But I want you to understand that when you're choosing a coach, when you're choosing a program, this is something that you need to seriously consider. What is it that you would prefer and where is it that you feel you would get the most support? For me personally, I love one-on-one. -on -one. I love it. I love one-on-one. -on -one. Now, for me to get those kind of foundational pieces of my business, I don't know that um, a one-on-one -on -one coach, um, there may be one-on-one -on -one coaches who have kind of an online structured 
system like that that teaches you how to set up acuity, you know, for your scheduling, it teaches you how to, you know, do certain things that, you know, you don't know coming right off the bat. But what you really want to, are you looking for when you're getting started, if you're going to do with somebody one on one, is you want to know they're going to help you nail down who your ideal client is, your messaging. And, and the truth is, is when you're getting started, the reason why you don't know those things yet is because you haven't worked with enough people to know exactly how what you do, um, what the results that, you, you know, the results you wanted to produce, but you don't really have results or testimonials yet. So uh, a one-on-one -on -one coach can kind of help you figure it out, right? Because you're kind of all over the place in the beginning. But like I said, a group program that's just kind of cookie cutter might also give you the foundational pieces. You have to choose which best for you. OK, the other thing is a lot of times with the large group programs is they will give you like lifetime access to whatever the online resources are. And that's great because you can go back and look at it. You know, I never did go back and look at the stuff I got from that first program. I should have closed my email. But um, so that's one of the first things you want to determine is do I want to work with this person one on one or do or am I OK with a group experience? And within that group program, how is the group program structured? OK, you want to know how many calls there are per week, because I was in another program. Man, we had a lot of calls. It was like being in school. <laughs> you didn't have time to do your business because you were learning on calls all the time. So how many calls are there a week? Who's running the calls? How many people are in the program? Am I going to have to wait in line for like an hour? You know, the the the, the beauty of a group's uh, program is you hear other people's questions. You do get inspiration from other people's shares and things like that. But sometimes if it's so large, you know, you can feel like you get lost in the shuffle or you can feel like you're you're confused. You know, maybe you had it. You thought you were certain. And then you start listening to other people talk and you start feeling like you're losing your way. Or maybe you get into comparisonitis and you hear and you hear other people doing well and you feel like you're not doing your best or, or getting the result from the program, not understanding that you're at this level and this person's at another level. And 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 what I and, and to be honest with you, my experience with group programs has been in business related coaching. Okay, so I'm talking from my own experience. These are experiences that I've had working with business coaches who are helping business owners, entrepreneurs, coaches with their businesses to make more money. Okay. So that's why, you know, these people are are different levels, but we're all trying to improve our businesses. Okay. Just so you have some context around, at least from my own personal experience, the type of program that I'm rest uh, uh referencing from my experience. Okay. So do you want one on one a group? Number two, once you finish the program, most programs are typically going to be around like three months. Sometimes you'll the first program I did was eight weeks. Okay. It was 7K for eight weeks. Um, like I said, I kind of I got the fund foundational pieces for my business. I got a lot out of it, but was it necessarily worth 7K? Probably not. You know, um, she's she, some people feel like value means shoving a whole bunch of content into the program. And all people really want is just for you to solve their one problem, you know, not to have to figure it out on their own. And so, um, so just simply having a program that's stuffed with content, you may not find that valuable. I think the higher the price, the simpler it should be, the shorter the distance it should be for me to get my result. Do you understand what I'm saying? So after you finish your program, it could be six weeks, eight weeks, three months, maybe even six months, um, which is good because that's honestly four to six months is typically how long it can take you, especially if you're looking into business coaching, to be able to ramp up and see the strategies that you're applying to really kind of take effect, okay? But the point is, is once you're done with the program, you want to ask yourself, have you given yourself enough time to get a result? And so by that, I mean, you maybe got great results in the program or you didn't. Maybe you didn't get your result yet. Because maybe you were just a little bit earlier in your journey than some of the other folks in the program that you heard getting, you know, having these, you know, 5K weeks and all this and that. And so maybe you feel like on some level you didn't do as well as you could have or should have, but you're not understanding that this person maybe has been in business for 10 years and you're just getting started. So you want to ask yourself, have I given myself enough time to get a result before you decide to move forward and work with someone else? 
Now, most coaches offer you the option to continue in their program if you need a little extra time. So if you feel like you didn't get the full result, it's probably best to linger for a little bit longer where you are, okay? And give yourself a little more time. If you like the coach, if you like the experience, if it's something you're totally dissatisfied with, then yeah, I get it, you know? But if it's something that you are kind of sad to see coming to an end, or you're kind of like, oh no, then continue. Do another month or two, you know? Give yourself enough time to get a result. Or if you're done, if you got a result, but you still, you know, want more, which we all do, right? You are constantly moving in an upward direction. You might want to take a minute to get your bearings, to allow what you've learned to sink in and then determine what's the next piece. What is it that you need or that you want to work on next? And then look for the coach that's going to take you for on the next leg of that journey. Okay. So that's very important because it kind of um, leads me into the next point, which is sometimes what can happen is we can develop something called shiny object syndrome. And we can call ourselves jumping from one program to the next, hoping to get a better result because perhaps this coach is just really great at marketing and just really great at selling, or we want what she has. And we think, oh, she can take us to where it is that we want to go or whatever. When the truth is, perhaps we didn't give what we just learned an opportunity to really sink in, take root, and to produce the fullest result within us, okay? Because what can happen is when you go from one program to the next or from one coach to the next, this coach has a certain way that they've been coaching you and helping you, moving you along. And now you have to kind of jump on board with this coach. And and unfortunately, what can happen sometimes, because this happened to me, you can lose momentum. If this coach got you experiencing momentum and results, don't continue, continue because you're going to until continue until it feels like they've taken you as far as they can take you. Okay. And then you would look for the person to take you to the next leg of the journey. But a lot of times what we do is we stop once we've got some momentum and we think, oh, we'll be cool on our own. And then, and so, or if we, if if it's been too soon and we just jump right into the next thing, We lose momentum because now we're trying to learn this new way and we're trying to jive this with this. And it's kind of like we can get confused and and whatever to two different styles, to two different formats, whatever. And we kind of lose our way. So sometimes you need to take a breath. Okay. And then you need to ask yourself, have I only been investing in business and strategy Or have I also simultaneously been investing in my transformation? Okay. So we all love to hire business coaches. We all, hey, I have a business coach. Always have one. Because if you're a business owner, you should have a business coach. However, you know, we'll hire a business coach. We'll hire a sales coach because we want to make money. We're not in business. We're not running a nonprofit. We're not running a charity. (laughs) We're in business to make money. And we, and most of us tend to struggle with making money consistently. That's, it's just the way it is. And so we will not hesitate to hire a business coach or a sales coach who has extended the promise of being able to help us to make more money. But oftentimes what those programs don't offer or only only offer a, a fraction of, unless the coach does both, you know, is the transformational side of things. Now, you absolutely need a solid business strategy. There are fundamental pieces and foundations that you need in order to be successful as an entrepreneur, period. I don't care what your business is. You you need those foundational pieces in order to be successful. And yes, you're going to get those from working with, excuse me, a business coach and simply from doing those strategies on a consistent, persistent level, you will get a result. You can make money while you're still healing, while you're still fighting through your money blocks, while you're still dealing with your confidence issues. You can still make money in spite of all those things. Now, you will perhaps be here, but you will eventually have to work through those things in order to move here, okay? So this is why when you're talking to these six, seven, and eight-figure earners, they invest 
heavily into their transformational coaching, into their personal development coaching, into their mindset coaching, who they are being, how they are showing up, how they think, how they feel, how they look at things, <clears throat> their healing, all of that matters to them because they get that the, the better they become, they amplify everything else that they're doing. It amplifies everything else that you're doing. Think about how much easier it is to sell when you don't struggle with imposter syndrome, when you don't feel like a fraud, when you don't lack confidence, okay? And so it, it all kind of mixes together, right? But you really want to ask yourself, have I invested in transformation or am I only focusing on the accumulation of business coaching or business strategy? And in that vein, like I said, are you chasing the next shiny thing? Are you going into programs and feeling like, okay, I didn't get a result. So I just need to work with this lady because she's awesome and she's great and she's going to help me. And then you don't get a result. It's essentially like you're looking for someone to fix your business for you or someone to fix you. It, it, it's basically like you're looking for something outside of you to tell you what to do. And I get it because I've been there, totally, totally been there. And what can happen is you almost feel like you are at a standstill because you don't, you feel like you need somebody to tell you what to do. You, you, you kind of don't trust your judgment or your ability to, to, to move forward. You, you just become paralyzed as it were. So that can happen. I get it. But you want to remember that just, and I'm looking at my notes here because I want to make sure I'm covering all my points. You just want to remember that at the end of the day is your business. And so any good coach is really just trying to bring out the best in you. They're really just trying to teach you their strategies and ways of doing things so that you can apply them to you and into your business, into your life in the way that works best for you. But when we have kind of lost touch with ourselves and we have lost a sense of, of feeling like we know what we're doing, then we can go about the, the task of simply looking for the next person who's going to tell us what to do. And then we can find ourselves going through program after program and maybe not getting the results that we wanted, having a ton of strategy, a ton of knowledge, a ton of information, but really struggling with the implementation part. So if you've reached the point to where you have a lot of knowledge, to where you have a lot of strategy, to where, and here's, here's what I'm gonna tell you, you don't have to work with like five coaches to get a lot of knowledge. One coaching program or two, they have tons of, of information packed in there. You know, the as, and I'll say this, I know that not everybody out there is on the up and up, trying to really truly provide value, really trying to help people, I get that, but I'm just gonna speak at it from my perspective, which is that I haven't had that experience. I haven't run into a charlatan yet. And I don't plan on to, I don't plan on that. And so I'm gonna speak to you like you haven't either. Okay. And so my point is, is you've already accumulated a lot of knowledge, a lot of experience, and all the, and, and all these things from these programs. But if you're struggling to implement it all, if it feels overwhelming, if you feel paralyzed, that's not a business strategy issue. That's not a business coaching issue. You don't have an issue around strategy. You don't have uh, an issue around, you know, having information, the knowledge, all those things. The reason why there's a struggle with the implementation, there's a transformational issue that's going on that has to be addressed. That's the power of personal development, the power of transformation. That's what I've been talking about, you know, in all my lives. You can't leave that part behind. That's the secret sauce. Like I said, that's the gas. That's what amplifies everything. And so when you find yourself paralyzed or stuck or feeling like you're blocked, it's not, let me hire another business coach. No, it's let, it's let me sit with myself for a moment and take a breath and say, wait a minute, what's really going on here? Why am I not doing these things? What is the fear? What's, what, what do I feel like is holding me back? I, I know I'm awesome. I know I'm getting amazing results. I know I'm good at what I do. Why am I questioning myself? What is this thing? Why do I just feel like it's this thing? 
And that all it is truly and honestly is that you are, tr- are pushing yourself to your next level. You're growing, you're expanding, and that's good news. And so what that means is it's time for you to transform. It's time for you to go through a transformational experience. And so this is the type of person now that you want to start looking for. Is someone to guide you through a transformational healing process, okay? So that you then can implement everything that you've learned so far, so that you can apply all of the things that you've picked up along the way in all these programs and can really utilize all the tools and connections. Hey, Alexandria, (laughs) thank you. And thank you for watching. You know, this is um, how you're going to be able to open yourself up to really be able to apply, you know, all of the things that you learn by understanding that it's a transform. You've, you're at the point of needing transform. You have to transform, right? You have to move forward to your next level so that you can become the person, the woman who does all the things that you've learned how to do. That's all it is. You're not crazy. You're not lacking anything. You just have to now evolve into the next version of yourself and that happens through transformational coaching through healing okay now i also want to touch on if you feel like you have been burned by a coach or a coaching program have you really or is it just that maybe you didn't get the result that you thought Like I said, I I personally haven't had an experience with a charlatan. I know that they exist and I have heard other women talk about having really negative experiences with, hey, Juan, what's up? (laughs) I've heard other people, you know, that have had negative experiences with coaches. But the truth is, I can honestly say that every single coach that I have ever worked with, including the first one where I didn't get the big result that I wanted, but I got all these things that allow me to get to go and get started i got something i got the pieces that i needed in order to prepare me for the next leg of the journey and so this brought me to this place for here and and i will say this that first program probably couldn't teach me how to sell because it was primarily based around transformation and mindset they sold it as sell sales you know but it was really transformational. And so that transformation, and like I said, in those basic fundamental pieces did allow me to step into my business. It allowed me to open my doors and to start taking clients. And so I got that from that. And then when I realized, okay, I don't know how to sell, then I hired a sales coach and she gave me the pieces to start bringing on my first high ticket clients and teaching me how to sell in a way that didn't feel sleazy or slimy or any of that. Very empowering, okay? And then I moved on to another program where I got the pieces of of different types of marketing strategies that I hadn't really even considered before, but that I learned how to do and met, it was a group program. So then I met all these other incredible coaches that I've hired and worked with and, and all these different things, people I never would have met if I hadn't been in that program. And then that took me to the place that prepared me for the next coach, who was my first five figure investment. And she sent me on a transformational journey, like one I have never experienced. When I tell you I got to the bottom of it all, I got to the bottom of it. And she she wasn't necessarily working me through that, but she ignited something. She allowed me to fully embody the value of the work that I do on such a deep and permanent level that there's no going back. That's why I can sit here and speak with with this certainty about what I do, because I not only not only have the client results to prove what I do, but I but I understand the magnitude and the gravity of what it is that I do. She helped me to do that. And so that prepared me now for this next leg that I'm about to embark upon with a new business coach that I'm working with. And she's doing big things. And I'm ready for her now. A year ago, I wasn't ready to work with her because of where I was within transformationally, where I was as a person, not even necessarily in my business, where I was as a person. See, you have to be open and ready to receive what someone is giving you. And we're all at different stages of that journey. But when we transform and we grow, then we're looking for that person who's there or and who's gonna allow us to grow and evolve into the next version of ourselves. And so 
now I'm getting ready to step into something that I am so excited about if she's watching. <laughs> and it's going to be huge. It's going to be fantastic because I'm where I need to be transformationally to receive what she's going to be laying down on me for my business. And she's also going to help me in my mindset and all those things. Okay. So let's just review. When you're going about choosing a coach, when you're going about choosing a program, you're, and, and I'm going to tell you this, even if you're not a coach, even if you're not an entrepreneur, if you're watching this on LinkedIn and you're in the corporate space, this still applies to you because you still have executive coaches. You still have leadership coaches. You still have me. I'm a mindset coach. I work with women executives and women entrepreneurs. Why? Because we all have emotions and that's the space that I deal in. And we all have deeply things within us deeply that need healing in order to allow us to evolve and to move to the next level. And so that's who I work with. So you want to consider first and foremost, or do you feel some type of synergy or connection to that person, right? Watch them, binge their content, binge their webinars, just consume them on every platform that they're on. Like I'm on LinkedIn, I'm on Facebook, I'm on YouTube, I'm on Clubhouse. You know, I have women who book calls me who become clients because they binge my YouTube channel because you really can get a feel for who I am, you know, on there. So binge, get to know the person. Then what you want to know is, okay, do I want a one-on-one -on -one experience or do I want a group? And if it is a group experience, how big is the group? Or is it small? What are the logistics? Or basically, how is the program delivered? Because here's what I want you to understand too about coaching is that when it comes to pricing, it's a, a coaching program is not a vacation package. Okay. So the price that you're going to pay is not based upon what's included. The price that you're paying is a fraction or a sliver of the value, the lifetime value of the knowledge, experience, and transformation that you're going to experience from having been in that program, right? Essentially, if it's a business program, what you learn here is going to allow you to make more money, more than you would have had you not learned this information. If you're talking about transformation, which is like the work that I do, working with me and doing your healing is going to allow you to take your life in a completely different trajectory allowing you to have better relationships yes make more money as well and have everything amplified in every area of your life and so my pricing is a fraction or a sliver of that lifetime value of the transformation so keep that in mind when you're looking at the programs how they're priced okay there are a lot of phenomenal coaches who don't charge a lot of money don't automatically assume oh hey you know i'm gonna you know i want to go the um you know the inexpensive route you know i'm just getting started Listen, pay attention to who you feel connected with, who you feel like speaks to you, and then find out how much they charge. And you might have to save up. You might not, depends on their pricing, but you might have to. So save up and work with that person. And like I said, and then get the logistics, whether it's one-on-one, -on -one, and get the details on if it's group, because that really matters. The second thing is, after you've been in the program, make sure you've given yourself enough time to get a result. If you need to continue with that coach after the program, continue for the extra month or the next month. Okay, give yourself enough time for everything that you've learned to really sink in and take root. And then if you're done with the program, give yourself enough time to sink in with yourself and get back into trusting and knowing, okay, what exactly, what exactly is it? What is my next move? For you to get clear, on what you want to do next okay not shiny object, object syndrome and then you also want to look at is it time for me to invest in a business coach you know or executive or leadership or whatever or is it time for me to now focus on my transformation do i need to hire a transformational coach do i need to hire someone who helps with healing do i need to hire someone who works with mindset do i need to hire jamila yes because that's what i do okay you gotta ask yourself those questions and you'll know like i said because you might feel like you've learned a lot of information but you're having a challenge with implementation okay and then finally if you feel like you've been burned by a program i want you to really ask yourself did you get anything out of it? Because while it may not have delivered on the promise, what did you get out of it? And did that prepare you for the next leg of the journey? Okay.
See, sometimes why we're there might not be the reason why we thought we were supposed to be there. It could be for something completely different. And sometimes we don't even realize it until it's after the fact. And we're like, that's why I was there. That's why I was in that program. Because I met a, I have a, a, a woman. I ended up hiring her. We've worked together. She's my friend. We were in that first program I mentioned. And she looks back with it on regret. And I said, no. That funded your business for like the next year because all those women in there were hiring you to teach them how to sell. Do you see what I'm saying? So did you get burned or did you just stumble upon an opportunity? So try to look at the positive side of the program, whatever you were in, and ask yourself, did I really get burned or was it just not, It did, did it not meet what I expected? Did it not meet my expectations? Okay, because chances are you did get something out of it. Unless, like I said, it really was like somebody who was, you know, a scammer. And I'm sorry for that. But don't let that keep you from investing in someone else. Because one of the things that I've learned is you can end up wasting a lot of time. Like from the time I did that first program to the time that I actually hired the woman to teach me how to sell. It was about a year, a little over a year. Well, yeah, it was about a year. That's a lot of time. And I had clients, but it was mostly like word of mouth referral. But that's a lot of wasted time. That's a lot of days I was making posts, a, a lot of time that that I could have been working with clients. I could have been making money had someone just simply taught me. So don't be, become so fearful that you don't hire anyone and then find yourself still dealing with the same, you know, limiting beliefs or mindset blocks or issues from childhood, or if it's a business situation where you're still not closing sales calls, or you're still not, you know, seeing your business really take off in the trajectory that you want it to, you know, don't allow one bad experience, you know, to keep you from continuing on the journey. Just like when you get in a car accident, you don't stop driving. You'll be a little traumatized, but you'll be much more careful next time because you've learned from that experience, but you keep driving. And so it's the same with coaching. If you feel like you have made a mistake or you have, you know, gotten burned, um, you, we all are going to make mistakes, but you just keep going. You look for the positive of it, you learn from it, and you move forward. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. And I hope this was helpful. And I hope you got some value from this. If you are a coach or an entrepreneur and you had any additional thoughts um, that would be helpful to someone um, really to consider when it comes to thinking about hiring a coach or some pitfalls to avoid, drop them in the comments below. And if you have not worked with a coach before, uh, whether you're currently in corporate or you're maybe new into the entrepreneurial space and you have some questions, feel free to drop those in the comments as well. And you can also send me a message, you know, uh, on Facebook or LinkedIn if you have any questions about the transformational work that I do. I do work with women executives and entrepreneurs and I also work with organizations or companies to help them improve morale and productivity by doing uh, in-office trainings or virtual on, you know, some of these issues around emotions and around our mindset and our thinking and really showing up as the best version of ourselves. So if that's something that your company or organization might be interested in, shoot me a DM as well. You can also book a call. I've got the banner going down there um, at coachjamila.com. And I don't see any questions in the comments, but I do see lots of comments. Thank you guys for watching and for participating. And I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye for today. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.